What's up, everybody? I am so thrilled tonight. I'm having the time of my life. I've only gotten this thing up three times in the air so far. Let's get right to business. No small talk on the tutorials, guys. I want to get you guys up in the air successfully. This is going to be an amazing tutorial because I'm going to show you something probably nobody is even aware of on the planet that I'm aware of now. We are going to start this thing up, get it in the air. Best practices to get it up in the air. Uh, fold the wings, drop the hook, and most importantly, this thing does have smoke. I'm not talking about engine smoke that everybody's aware of. I'm talking about performance smoke like you would see at an air show. Let's get right into it, guys. Zero hesitation, all business. First thing I want you to do is turn on the pilots right here, okay? Only identifiable problem on this aircraft that I have found so far is it does not show chocks on all variants. I've checked every single one. Definitely not a big deal for me right now. I don't care. This thing's flying great. I'm having a great time. DC Designs, if you guys are listening, we just don't have chocks. Other than that, this is a masterpiece, and you guys have done us a great, great justice of the F4. Let's start it up. Step one, generators. Step two, fuse. Turn it to ready all the way to the right. Go to the left. On the throttles, you're going to see two red buttons. They're ignitions. Turn those on. Slide to the right. Hide throttle. Engine master. Boom. Turn both of those on. One at a time. Let's start with the left engine. You will hear it crank up right away. As you can see, look how beefy that hook is. This is a gigantic jet, guys. I mean, that is like five times the size, in my opinion, of the Super Hornet F-18 and the F-14 Tomcats. Look how much bigger it is than the uh, F-16s, which, by the way, we do not have a Pensacola Air Base uh, stacked with the Blue Angels, so I always pick this, and I think it looks good, guys. We're all on the same team here, so. Um, while that's starting up, we're going to go to the right. We can fold the wings here. The animations look great. Check it out. This is a carrier-based aircraft for the Navy. Beautiful. That saves rooms on the carrier deck. Okay? Let's get the right engine fired up. While that's going, the, uh, the canopy door is right here. You will look and see closed canopy. Look under, it's kind of hard to find. So you hit it right there, and they'll both close. When you're up here, you can't see it, guys, okay? Check this out, though. You can do radar and both like a TV-based camera. There's the radar. I've heard rumors that it works. Oh, check that out. So there's dots on that already. That's awesome. Um, I personally like to turn it to the TV, which is basically a, uh, a camera. Then I go down here and I take this to cage. What that's going to do is give you a gun sight, basically for a, uh, uh, a reticle gun sight, which looks amazing, guys. Now, smoke. It's very simple. This thing basically has two smokes. The exhaust that it came with is gonna be a dark like smoke cloud, like almost like a black one, but check this out. Look at all that white smoke. This has performance smoke, guys, as you would see in an air, uh, an air show. Now, as you see, when I turn that smoke off, the pilots go away. When I turn it back on, when you turn all lights on on all DC Designs aircraft and SC, uh, for some odd reason, it turns the pilots off. So that's how you turn on smoke. Whatever you gotta do to button map all aircraft lights. Now, if I wanted to turn this smoke off, I hit all lights again, the pilots go off. If I wanna fly around after I've turned smoke on, off, I just go back in here and manually hit the cockpit. Uh, for the crew visibility and now they're back and there's gonna be no smoke see it stopped We'll turn smoke back on when we get in the air In taxi drop the flaps one notch and you see them they're going down right now By the way, the speed brakes are at the bottom of the aircraft on the F4 If you don't know how to butt map those go into your controls and it's toggle spoilers, okay? Everything's looking good guys. We'll put those back up and we'll be on our way. Take the parking brake off. 
by the way it comes already rock, rocking to go but this little red dot right by the uh the stick is the nose wheel steering always have that on high guys we're gonna kind of cut through the uh the desert here because this is a tutorial this is not the easiest to take off and land guys and i i, I don't even know if i can land it on this yet I, this is my third flight it's i don't know how to it, like efficiently land it i'm gonna do my best taking off drop the flaps one level blast full afterburners the sounds amazing boom okay now if you want to be technical go into the cockpit i think 140 to 160 knots is when you want to lift off barely 10 degrees i basically use my eyes outside i use different camera angles so this thing flies it's a rocket ship so i lift off and we lift right off look at that dc designs outside of top mock studios they know what they're doing with jets guys okay they've got the f-16 f-14 the eurofighter typhoon and the f-15 and they're all superior don't forget to raise your flaps again to hit it flat and we're good now you're going to see me turn on smoke check that out you see the white the cool thing about this is, unlike the F-16, is the white smoke is like delayed. Check that out. So cool. Again, there is no smoke button in the cockpit, at least that I could find. This is a machine, guys. It's not like your average jet. It's really cool. I'm giving myself a little... Uh, leniency for, for uh, real estate to land it's not easy I'm gonna kill the power drop the speed brakes I'm gonna hit flaps all the way down you're not gonna see them yet because of the speed of the aircraft this is just a turn and I'm gonna put back up uh, the speed brakes give it a little gash drop the uh, gear and from there on out guys good luck I can tell you right now, whoever can land this thing on a carrier, which I will do, that's going to be a feat, man. <laughs> to land this thing on land is hard. And I'm loving that fact because it's an F-4. It's not your average aircraft. So I'm going to kind of control uh, with speed brakes. You can't go too slow. You're dropped right out of the sky. I got flaps all the way down, but they don't show up until you go slow enough. All right, that wasn't bad, guys. That was not bad. I wouldn't call it an expert landing either. So as you see, you need a lot of runway to turn this, uh, to stop this thing. So I'll take that landing, guys. I just, uh, I didn't have enough room to stop it on the end of the, look at the smoke. So like I said, if I turn that off right now, say I don't want smoke on, guys, you're gonna see it stop, but I don't have pilots. I have to go back in and turn the pilots on if I wanna have them on and fly without smoke after activating it okay so i'm just going to turn it off right here and get to business again so you can open the cockpit if you want canopy excuse me turning this off is not hard guys it's basically just reverse engineering you can turn everything off you really don't have to do it in any order drop it all That simple, guys. We're good to go. You can still open the uh, the canopy. We're rocking and rolling, guys. It's a beautiful thing. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's something I didn't cover because I want to learn too. I got this out 
as quick as quickly as I can on launch night for you guys to have some fun and have a basic understanding on how to fly this. We'll get much better at landing it, and more videos are going to come tonight, guys. But this is beautiful. Look at the U.S. Navy Blue Angels livery, guys. It's They came with so many liveries. We'll review it here in a second. I'm going to review it live, actually. But that's the tutorial. Let me know if there's anything I missed, and have a good night. Later.